So today I am going to show you how can we upload or how can we save ASCII file and last file from IV then how can we upload them to Petrol so I will save two types of files I will save these values as ASCII file then I will save these values as last file then I will upload them both to Petrol uh, and I will upload more than one well uh, to show you how can you do it so first thing let's start with these values which are uh, net bay net growth and net reservoir we will get uh, net growth out of them but let me show you how can we save them first thing uh, before that you have to know how can you calculate these values and how can you calculate cutoff values to select these options then uh, after you're done with that you have to go to this icon uh, now press on print then select normal report and save it as file here you have to select the location of the will okay I will put it here now uh, these value has saved okay now as you can see now the problem with this folder is that we can't upload it like this to IP because it won't understand it so we need to uh, edit it now I'll show you how can we edit it so create another text file and open them both now what you have to do is to put the top and the bottom of the layer in one track so copy this and paste it here and press enter now go to the second one and copy it Now you have to give them the values of net growth and I will give it the same value of net growth for the top and the bottom of the unit. So this is the first this is the top of the first unit and this is the bottom of the first unit. This is the second one. Now, as you can see here, we have the, the bottom of the one, the first layer is the top of the second layer and it has uh, more than one value. So, Petrol won't understand this. So, you have to change this depth and I will add point 0.1 to it. And here we have... Uh, the same problem that we have two depths but it has uh, we have one depth but it has more than one value so we have to change it so that's why I've added one now this is the last layer the last unit and we've done now save this folder and you will upload this to Petrol. This is the depth. And this is net growth values. But you don't need to 
type it. Okay. So this is the folder that I will upload to Bitro. Let's go to Bitro and see how can we upload it. Okay, now let's uh, now the folder that I've saved now is for this well. So I will do that. Import on selection. Then select the the type of the folder that you have. Uh, now I have ASCII file for Netigros values. Now go to the location of the will uh, of the folder. Now this is the new one, the new folder. Now press click open. So this is what you will uh, see. Select the first one and here uh, you have to select where is the depth now I have the depth in the first column so that's why uh, I've selected this one now select this option specify logs to be loaded add another log type its name I have nothing gross then you have to select where is the values of Metigross. Now I have it in the second column, so I will select two. Then here uh, you have uh, property. Select the type of the well that you have uploaded, and you have here Metigross. So here, so sorry. Now press on OK. So now, as you can see here, I have the value of Metigross in well and the BU9. Now to show it, you have to press on this. And now let me see where is it. okay as you can see here this is the value of metigross it's for uh, the th uh, the last three layers which is mb1 mc1 and mc2 so now we have done with uh, ascii file and how can we save it from ib then edit it after that how can we upload it to Bitro? And you can do the same steps for every will that you have. Uh, now let's uh, start with last file and how can we save it from IB then upload it to Bitro. Now we don't need to edit last file as we've done with uh, ASCII file. So we will upload it, upload it uh, directly so it will be much easier than ASCII file. Uh, now we need uh, these five curves out of IB, which are uh, water saturation, clay volume, vertical permeability, horizontal permeability, and uh, phi core. And we have calculated these three uh, curves from the equations that we have got. Now press on input output, then save data. Go to last right. Now here you have to select the depth and the uh, prob the these curves. So first thing I have water saturation. This is water saturation, and this is the clay volume. Now I need vertical and horizontal permeability. and I need phi core okay now select these options then 
from files you can select the location of the last file that you need to save okay now press on ok okay because I've saved this file before uh, throughout here that I have already this file now I'll press OK then the file that I need has saved okay this is the file that I need now let's save another file to upload them both to Bitroll I will save this here I'll see the I'll put the water saturation to make sure it has been calculated okay now uh, here let's put uh, clay volume okay now here horizontal permeability vertical permeability Now the scale should be like this from 0.1 to 1000 and in lower scale here too from 0.1 to and here let's put the phi core curve. from 0 to 50 now what we have to do is to go to this and select last file as we have done uh, with the previous will Vertical permeability. Horizontal one. Clay volume. Water saturation and phi core. Now select these options. Press browse, go to the file that you need to save your data in. Okay. Now 
as you can see here I have two last files first one for the first will and the second one for the uh, BU9 okay here for the first will to upload its login data you have to right click on it and then import on selection here you have to select the type as last file not ASCII then select the last file of the first will here you have to select this option and it is the names of them here we have Ficor it's for us yes but uh, okay now these are good now here we have horizontal permeability core and here we have horizontal permeability core now here we have to select the type of them which are permeability and as we have s we have uh, uploaded the horizontal permeability now select permeability x here we have vertical permeability so this is permeability z now this is in lidar 2 okay now by by clicking on this it will be uploaded and you can display it from here so let's see it okay these are the wells that we have uploaded now you can uh, display one of them or display them all from this icon now I don't need devs so I won't display now let's go to uh, the uh, the second will which is BU9 and I will upload its core and data select at last file 2 now here you have to match with the logs that you have uploaded first so you have uh, devs ok now this is the dev this is phi it's not phi actually it's phi core so you have to edit it phi core then match it with the log that you have uploaded first so this is phi core and water saturation okay this is clay volume okay this is horizontal permeability so we have to edit its name and okay so it will already be calculated when you select when you match it with the previous uh, curve that you have uploaded now here we have uh, vertical permeability vertical permeability core and here so it will already be matching now press on this then okay as you can see here it has been uploaded here so these are the curves that we have and you can do that for every will save class file and then upload it to the tool